All right, we got the homie Izzy. Congratulations, yeah. top 16. 15, top 16. 15. 15. 15. 15 all right, flip. all right, all right. Yeah. All right, congratulations. Uh, before we get started, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. But any shout outs before we begin? Everybody here at Paper Heroes, all the Paper Hero homies. Homie Brian for the fucking sick ass uh, deck box. Pyramid, of course, for the custom cloth. Winner of the May giveaway. And Mike. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, all right, course. let's get started. Yeah, for sure, bro. So let's start with the main deck. The standard um, Chimera Illusionist engine here. Got the three Cornfield, three Mirror Sword Knight, three Gazelle, two Burfman. It's pretty much what everybody's running for the monsters. Sometimes I've seen people run three of this guy, but as of right now, it's just always been the standard three, 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 two for consistency purposes. That's with the uh, Illusionist. For the branded package, I only ran two of the All Baths, one of the Versago. That was for the Dragoon, the Dragoon play. Sometimes I ended up using this dude when people would stop. Um, like I had awkward plays where like Gazelle, normal to Chimera, get the Chimera Fusion. I had nothing else in hand, so I just had to use this dude to make uh, the main fusion. Uh, also for Interruption, Played the went with the three friend rear. Uh, just card speaks for itself. Just instantly applied pressure. Going second for hand traps, I went with three ash. Card is too good right now. And despite what a lot of people were saying about drill, main deck two drill <laughs> and one Nibiru. Dude, this one Nibiru, <laughs> the luck on this shit. This shit came up like three times, and dude, it just was fatal to them. I almost lost. One was a game, a game winning round, and then two other ones just a blowout, like just shut them down completely. And then it's only a one of, right? It's only a one of, which is crazy. Like, you wouldn't expect me to draw into it, and it's just like, hey man, you shuffled my deck. <laughs> like, I don't it's know a what one to tell of. you. Yeah. And then Chimera Fusion. I've seen some people doing two as of this morning, but I mean, dude, three, three's where it be, bro. Gotta run the place that. And then shout out my boy Alex, helped me acquire these yesterday. The ulti, three grand infusions. Ah, this is just so pretty. <laughs> Let's look at that real quick. Look yeah, dude, so swirly. So yes, sir. Shout out his homie Alberto, man, who <laughs> hooked it up for a steal. And then for consistency purposes, drawing, the two pot of prosperity. Kind of risky sometimes, but I'm, you play in a draw, but if you got this guy right here, you ain't got to worry about it. Two crossouts, two prosperities, and then two books. Sometimes they try to like stop uh, Gazelle or Burfamet, drop this homie, flip them over, get your ad, and then just fuse them away with your face down and you're chilling. Oh, you gotta worry about belt. it. Yeah. For the one of spells, I did triple tax called by. I don't play thrust in the extra deck, but I didn't want this to intervene with like pot of prosperity too much you know like just the counteraction but so, sometimes i went in a pot and like i have this in hand but i'm just like screw it. i'd rather like rip a card from their hand with my fusion and then rip a card with this thing so that they're, they're, they're limited on the resources on what they can do and then called by i mean speaks oh, for itself dude it's crazy i actually used a cross out designator on a called by yesterday which is pretty funny and i was like fuck it like <laughs> the counter to the counter yeah the counter to the counter and then three improve Wow. Yeah, I upped this number uh, like last minute. Like I didn't really know if I want to do two or three, but I'm like I don't really want to play an attacks or anything, you know. So I'm just like screw it. I'm gonna just add another one for consistency purposes. Crazy. Yeah, dude, it's a crazy matchup. Yes, it's so diverse. A lot of different decks. Uh, so for the fusions, uh, the extra deck, two of the uh, Phantom Beasts, of course, the standard rip a card, banish, so good for recursion in their in their phase. Um, Magnum the Reliever. I went into this dude one time. I think I was playing against Flanderese, and I just made him to like OTK, and like I banished him to draw one, and I drew, I banished the uh, the Chimera Fusion in the graveyard to draw one, and I drew into an, uh, another Chimera Fusion. I already recycled it once, so I drew in a, I drew another Chimera Fusion. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna just fuse whatever I have in hand for game. Guy had nothing. <laughs> And that was it. This guy was so sick yesterday. Like, I can't tell you the disappointment I saw on my opponent's face when they had made this shit. I played a Vanquish Soul and Chain 
Oh my god. And I, I had Didi crowed his target in the grave to like bring back. And he just like uh, he passed. He just ended with the with the link one zero attack. I made I had um, I had Phantom Beast on the field, and I had like two two illusionists in my hand. I drew into another illusion thing as Cornfield, and I had a, I already had a Chimera Fusion. So I was like, "Fuck it, Chimera Fusion with this guy and the three illusionists." <laughs> this guy <laughs> swung four times for game. Oh my god! Was so bummed, dude. <laughs> That's it for the uh, the, the, the standard theme. Chimera Illusionist guys. For the other fusion they got, Guardian Chimera. I mean, I don't really consider him like the Chimera family. This guy's kind of like a beast in of himself. Yep. Same thing with the Flanderese guy. I had made two of these. He mo he um, rise at me, flipped them in defense, shuffled one back into the extra deck, and I still had Chimera Fusion in my hand. So I just played it after he was done with the standard bullcrap Philanderese interruption. I made the one that he just shuffled back in. Oh my god. <laughs> Dropped this full, normal summon all bass, and swung in a Ryza with him and all bass for game because he was low on life points already. That one was crazy. That, that's yeah, so I know, dude. I'm like, you did it to yourself, bro. I only run two. Like, that's on you. And then uh, for the all bass lineup, Sprin, I made him one time. Uh, didn't really come up that much yesterday, but still a solid card, like generic, like uh, generic interruption, you know. Just bring back all bows with uh, Rinbrum on their turn and then just use it away. Uh, one of the uh, Albion speaks for itself. Lubelion, uh, I only made Dragoon with this yesterday. I didn't really make any other fusions with him. Mirajid, just good old OG banish, non target. And then uh, Rinbrum. Uh, this guy was probably one of the best fusions that I was going with yesterday. Because, I mean, you have the extra deck negate. And then you also have the recursion where you banish him on your opponent's turn. I mean, it's either him or Albaz to bring back the other one. But realistically speaking, yesterday I was banishing him to bring back Albaz on my opponent's end phase. Ditching one to make Mirror Jade. Because most of the time, they end with, like, links or Synchros or something. Or if it was something that was special summon that turn, this guy was the way to go. But... I in one of my mirrors I did go into Albion off of using Rimbrum's effect because I was able to ditch one to fuse with the light, made him, and then just banish to make a it was either Mirror Jade or this or yeah, I think it was Mirror Jade that I made yesterday by banishing. Because I already had fusions in the grave. And then um Dragoon made him twice yesterday. The one time I made him against him chain, that shit was like clutch. Like I just <laughs> I didn't want to take no chances. Like I was already in victory road, dude, and he tried to. Ha I'm like, nope. But I already have all this interruption and grave with the uh, Chimera, so yeah, dude. He just guy just should have bagged it up. He had no bag, no bag. Super Poly targets, Garura, Mud Dragon, and Drake's Um I think I made like this dude against one of the mirrors. I Super Poly because I had no out to Dragoon, realistically speaking. Exactly. Yep. But I sighted in Super Poly for game two, and he shotgun Dragoon again on me and I just uh, super polyed him with the, the Chimera fusion to make a Dragos to failure. Uh, moving on to the side deck. Side deck. Um, I was expecting pearly matchups or like shit that I couldn't get over. So I kept in um, the Raiden. Um, yeah, dude, I just hate dealing with that big old like Noir. Empire State building. Like, just draw a card, draw a card, draw a card. I, I hate that shit, bro. Um, I was expecting uh, Unchained a lot. So I did go um, to DD Crow. I took out the Beast deals just because I wanted to have like overall coverage versus like specific archetypes. So I know that like the water, the water type and the fire type, I don't know what the name is, Samayan or whatever the fuck, the Unchained monsters. Yeah. I want to be able to get rid of them. If I did end up facing a Pearly, I didn't want to be able to get rid of their spells. You know, I love Drytron and I play that shit so much. I wasn't about to let them keep using their, their, um, the ritual spell, but I didn't encounter it. It was very diverse. I didn't know what I would encounter, but the stuff I thought I'd see, I didn't see anything. I did, like, it was just really diverse. Uh, three Cosmic Cyclone. Dude, I, no, no Labyrinth, but Rescue Ace, that, that tested me yesterday. That was an interesting matchup. I really didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And I kind of jumped the gun on an Imperm and, uh, what is it? Their three K beater dude just set four, and I was like, "Ah, shit. <laughs> that's cr that's scary." Yeah, and I'm like, "Yeah, these are going in game two for sure." But uh, draw in game three against uh, Rescue Ace was a blowout, so that shit got him. 
That's it for the month for that those guys. Um, three super polys. Um, yeah, people were like, it was my decision to side deck them. Like I was, I really love super poly. I love coming here and like standby super poly, like just right away. People hate that shit. But I'm like, if I'm gonna go like for overall coverage, I don't know. Like some people end on one monster. Some people like I don't know like how good super poly is right now. Yeah. So I just like straight medical. I'd rather have answers to. Because a lot of decks got their graveyard back, so I know a lot of fools will be doing a lot of adding, in my opinion. So that's why I went with the drolls in the main deck, and I just decided to side deck these just just because. And sense. it ended up making sense because when I did side them in, like I said, I side them in game two, ain't no dragoon being made, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for blowouts and interruption, I did three Emily match for the traps. Um, I actually didn't use this at all yesterday. I was surprised. Like I was gonna side them in, but. I ended up going with other play like the super poly to me was more efficient or sometimes a, a kaiju or something like it just it made more sense to me for the, my matchups that i had i didn't really have anything that i wanted to evenly match and like rescue ace was so back and forth our first match was like 35 36 minutes uh -huh. so that's why i was like all right yeah cosmic cyclone over this but definitely like i don't want to i rather like get rid of stuff in the back row and like i don't know just an interesting matchup like first time really like, going against rescue ace would you have changed evenly matched to something else Probably, I'd probably put it, but like, I think maybe thrust, two thrust, and then change change the other, the third evenly with the different card, and then maybe keep one of these. Um, D barrier, it served me more, like, like, cause I played three mirrors yesterday. I didn't okay. think I was gonna play mirrors, but, cause I was like, dude, like I haven't really seen Chimera topping, but I played these in the mirrors. One time I used it as a cross out target, and the other time, the other time that I had, one of the other times I had it, I actually used it. And the third time I actually had it, I just discarded it to make for super poly because my hand was so like tight. So I don't really know, but I mean, generically speaking, this just shuts down decks. Yeah. Like you go against Pearly, and like I said, I built this going around Pearly too. <laughs> like, dude, this one homie here plays Pearly. Every time I drop this shit, dude gets so bummed. He's like, standby, I'm like D Barrier X E. He's like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's it. That's yeah, game. It's, it's game pretty much, you know. <laughs> you can't do nothing. Yeah, but maybe I might do some tweaking to the side deck, and like now that we got our nationals in, like shit, I gotta figure it out. But yeah, bro, it pretty much does it for the, uh, the build. That's cool, man. Again, yeah. congratulations, top right. fifteen. Thanks, bro. You know, it's that. exciting to know that I have made you. No, I'm yeah, kidding. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll have Mike put a fucking description, or I have you, sorry, third person. <laughs> I have you, if you want to put a description of like the matchups and shit, just so, like people see like what I encountered or like how to play around shit, I'll, I'll shoot you a list and go from there. Yeah, I'll put, I'll definitely put in the description of like the your match uh, breakdowns because it was 10 rounds. That is a lot. Yeah, it does get crazy, but I'll run through it really quick. I won't get into detail, but Dragon Link was the first matchup. I was surprised to see that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I lost that one. That was my only that was my only loss going into the end. But um so I faced it was super diverse. ABC Therion, uh, I faced Unchained the, with the DDD engine, Manadium Scareclaw, Rescue Ace, Vanquish Unchained, but I only saw Vanquish stuff, Wanderees, uh, and then the last three were um, branded uh, branded matchups. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, they were all like mirror, mirror matchers. But yeah, I only faced and chain twice. I didn't even see Pearly, which was like my fear. Like, I just hate dealing with the tower. Yeah, that's And then, like, yeah, I was surprised to see ABC. I was like, what the fuck? Like, where did that come from? <laughs> yeah, that's actually interesting. I never would have expected ABC, and especially in the regionals, someone playing it. That yeah. is actually really cool. Yeah, and like, as I was, like, I, when I was leaving for my round one loss, I saw a bunch of, like, Rescue Ace and Pearly. So I was like, ah, oh, crap. I was in one of those days. But I just ended up, I, I don't know if my matchups got lucky or what, but. Yeah, and then with the with the uh, mirror match, it was more of like a, just the look of the dice roll, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, and the guy that I lost to ended up getting fifth. Yeah, my mirror ended up getting fifth, so <laughs> shout out Payton, man. Good shit with the spice and the best deals, bro. That was a pretty cool thing. Yeah. Might change my build now, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Well, if you top regionals, I mean, another regionals or uh, maybe YCS, we never know. Right? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see. see. I'll, keep, the limit. I'll keep you guys updated on... Uh, my friend Izzy over here, but uh, congratulations and thanks, uh, hope for the best on the next regional in LA. Yeah, thanks bro. Appreciate right. it. See, See you guys on the next one. Later.